as far as clear performance is concerned. Uh, there is the a very little that, of course, we can talk on the ground as far as which uh, it is concerned. Yeah, that is a brief snapshot of uh, Tanzania. Um, well, the last major that is the population, of course, the landmass, basically the landmass center is the Tanzania size. It's, uh, the size of the East Africa, that is Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi combined. Actually, it's more than that. So, if you want to get Tanzania, you combine the other East African countries and another Rwanda, then that's, that's the size of the, of the country. In terms of language, we have 120 local languages. So, I think, of course, in terms of the opportunity, um, what you can work on. Uh, in terms of Wikimedia and editing and materials, I think you see uh, that is an opportunity. Mainly, of course, why is the most spoken language. Uh, a lot of us actually in Tanzania people speak language. Swahili, there are very few people who speak, uh, speak English. But they mean actually something that is in English, but of course, we are living in the majority of the population of the day who are, cannot actually uh, read, cannot understand English. Like in Kenya and in Uganda. Uh, when I was trying to see the situation on the gap down, the challenge, only in terms of creation uh, or editing of wiki, wiki uh, but also for the terms of usage, I, this is the figures in terms of the schools. We have 9,600 9, primary schools, uh, 4,000 <coughs> secondary schools, both of course they are all uh, ordinary levels. Level and of course, six the university. So, in terms of usage, you'll find the majority of those in the high school and of course, those in the, in the, in the universities, they use a lot of uh, Wikimedia. Uh, of course, uh, that is mainly the place that what we really found. In terms of, uh, so far, there's no chapter on Wikimedia. Uh, but there seems to be a growth in this kind of usage, as I say, of uh, wikis. And of course, somebody was mentioning about so in, in Nigeria, the popular, whichever you, most of the students say, or whatever they want to find something, they go to. Of course, there is a very digital uh, creation. And I was trying to map out, so I must certainly say that, I must confess that I'm not actually, I was not able to uh, find out the real the active editors on the ground, uh, but this is something, of course, I think, which is uh, something that needs to be done if we really want to uh, uh, ensure that the trees are the weak Africa is on the ground in a number of countries, Tanzania inclusive. Um, the, the number, I think there's a lot of opportunities uh, in terms of, uh, because there are a lot of, there are uh, others on the ground that need to be about the, Creative Commons, Public Knowledge Foundation, um, and of course in that you find people are uh, truly open, there's a dice club, uh, open knowledge community. And one of the things that we are working on is uh, the work on data. Um, so far the people check the baby that will be hospitals wherever they are. And these are issues that are at the end of the day I think of what you want them to have they can be a part of the castle of the so they finished doing the, uh, they just finished doing the data on hospitals where are they located, and also the soon they are going to work on uh, other social, uh, other, uh, other social, uh, social welfare facilities. Uh, in terms of the opportunities that are on the ground, I thought I should start with the opportunities and then talk of the, the talk of the challenges. There is a larger group of the younger community. Uh, which is of course a catch pool for a catch pool for those who are likely to volunteer. I know of course I'm talking later on that volunteerism is a challenge just like in other other, other parts of Africa. But we cannot we cannot rule out that younger uh, the younger generation is not there to volunteer. I think there are issues that need to be done. Um, and of uh, two I uh, two tech hub. One is ICT, a uh, ICT, which is this, this is the government, uh, the government institution, uh, the Commission on Science and Technology. There is a uh, uh, tech incubator for younger 
And also there's a huge space this is a, uh, this is a private one. It's, uh, I think it's been very much funded by, by Google and others. They've been drawing at uh, younger volunteers. Uh, so I find this is a positive opportunity for trying to engage them with the active editors. Uh, but again, you know, as the others have mentioned, you know, the Africa is going to the Of course, you know, we all know that communication uh, is going at a larger speed. It's, it's a high speed, despite the other challenges we have. The other challenges may be uh, that I'll mention later. Uh, we have one a telecom company, Chigo. Dr. Chigo, they have uh, just established a Swahili Facebook page. When I actually, I was trying to pull up, and I found out there's a massive, massive interest by the, the population you know, to, to get involved. And as I was mentioning, the majority of the people in Tanzania they speak Swahili. Uh, they, there are those who understand no Swahili, but like even their other languages. So that is a, that is a space whereby I think you can, uh, if you have, uh, if you create a lot of information, uh, a lot of knowledge in Swahili and in Tanzania, I can see it for that opportunity. That of course is a very interesting people uh, who are using uh, using uh, many uh, enhancers for other purposes. And again, as I mentioned, Creative Commons is on the on the ground. We are working with the Open uh, Open Knowledge Foundation. Uh, so collaboration, is, uh, as you have mentioned, in alliances, I think this is the this is the way to go. We cannot work in isolation. We are always working on open open openness. And also the presence of fiber. National fiber is. Uh, Place. And I think it will work, it will do some of the some of the challenges that we are talking about. The other uh, the other opportunity that I didn't actually it's not in my slide, but I think I should point out government support. So we have uh, some of the younger ministers, like the deputy minister for uh, communication science and technology, is somebody who's very young and has been very forefront to support most of the uh, most of these emerging issues. So uh, for, for them, actually, you can, you can talk in the office and then they will be, be there to support. Uh, and also, again, the institutions. Uh, my institution basically has been very supportive in most of the, uh, the issues that we've been doing, like creative commons. I think those who are going to creative commons, they you know. So there are, those are some of the some of the opportunities that are there, which so they just need to be grabbed. Uh, in terms of challenges of what our administration, somebody was mentioning this. Uh, if you talk with people, they'll be very much confused. Talk with video and media with money, they don't seem to, to know what it's all about. And of course, for us, we don't have that much conflict with, 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 with the weeklies. They won't take a connection directly with the weeklies, but of course, the people don't understand the world. Is. So the awareness creation, I think, is one of the, uh, the big challenges. Uh, I for, for, the, for the students, they, they can connect a week, a week media with the with the information that you can get. That is where you can go. If you want to search for something, then straight out you go. In fact, for us, we immediately, uh, we, we are very much in academia. They are discussing a lot because the students who are doing assignment, they always go there. So, uh, there are two that I mentioned, or there are two uh, school of thought. There are those who discard students who don't want to, do, to, to study in a traditional way because they want shortcuts, but there are those that will encourage the students to use the opportunity of the available information and the available, available, available knowledge. Uh, the other challenge in getting uh, active volunteers, uh, as I mentioned basically, and I'm glad that there is somewhere we'll be talking about what it means to be a volunteer in Africa. We have a problem, a serious problem. Uh, we have a lot of problems because we want to, people want to do the soft style, soft things. They don't want to do much. Like someone will say, Nobody is interested in doing a lot of editing stuff. So most of the younger, the older section, they, they like doing some sort of stuff. So we need to change their mind, try to get them on They should not associate them all the time with uh, going into the, into the internet or whatever, just going into the internet. They should be able to do something else, especially giving out. If you edit something, then of course you make it others also able to we are sharing with others. So the culture of sharing, the culture of volunteerism, I think that needs to be inculcated much if you want to try to ensure that uh, we can device is very successful on the ground. And, uh, as usual, power and uh, internet, that is also a serious problem. As I mentioned, but I'm giving there's a window of opportunity because we are improving 
and as things that are being improved on the ground, so we expect that we funding, of course, for the terms of funding, and, and apologies, um, it is funding, so funding that is as another problem. When you talk of funding, I'm not talking of the land funding, it's a, in a sense of, so modest funding, some of those talking about t -shirt. Uh, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot more. We talk about awareness. If somebody is aware of the T-shirt written, uh, which uh, shows great comments, uh, then of course people will be very much interested. If you wear a T-shirt written with you, that but people will be interested. What is it all about? So you get five, ten people to know. I think it, it does a lot in terms of awareness creation, and that is actually where you're going to get all the tears on board. And we don't talk of finding in terms of uh, paying and paying somebody something. Of, uh, but to talk of meetups, if you talk of meetups, again, the issue is that uh, you, you need some modest funding to ensure that you do that. And of course, we don't expect these funds all the time to come from, from outside. We need to mobilize funds from within. But there is somewhere, some, we have somewhere, to, uh, we have somewhere to start. And I'm glad that uh, I would also be, I wanted also to, to, do the, to know and really support so that if you have something going on, we support these people to go and face this telecom house, others, uh, most of the corporate who can be able to sponsor it. I think that would do a lot because the real activity is going on, on the ground. And then the, by bit and this will make a lot of a lot of, a lot of changes in, in the society. I think that is all I wanted to share. Okay. 
and any others or no? Um, the rest of the children have not submitted.